Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for episode eight of season three of Titans. Last week's episode was kind of like a mid-season finale, if you will. You know, Oracle's been destroyed, but the team, despite all of that, was able to find where Scarecrow was mass producing his toxin and shut it down. Uh, him and Jason are in the wind now. Uh, Star Bl Starfire and Blackfire seem to be working together quite fine. Blackfire is, uh, so, so into Connor. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, and Gar has, uh, found a secondary stash of Jason's, which led him to Jason's friend Molly. And he's deciding, since the rest of the team has kind of given up on Jason at this point, he's going to continue the quest in the hopes that maybe, just maybe, he might be able to track down Jason and bring him back himself. And uh, I'm curious to see where that whole thing goes. Gar's just, just such a sweet kid, man. I like that they, they definitely got Gar right in the show, I think. Uh, outside of his lack of a uh, library of animals, uh, as far as the personality goes. And uh, I think that, that he's been doing a great job with this character. Um, we are over halfway through the season now, and we've seen no signs of Raven yet. So I've got some questions about that. When are we actually going to get to that part? Um, don't know. Remember, guys, if you want to check out the full-length unedited reaction to this entire episode, you can check that out over on Patreon, or if you become a member here on the channel, it just helps you support the channel and helps us... Uh, work towards getting an editor full-time for this stuff. Anyway, guys, that all said, let's go ahead and dive into this week's episode. Here we go. I need to speak with him. Fix this. You think you're the man for that job? Not just me. Is that a, is that a T? A T in the sky? <laughs> They get that installed in the uh, GCPD. Swap out Bruce's bat logo. What do you think? Yeah. Can you make it any bigger? Apparently. How big do you need it? Bigger than the bat uh, signal, at least. I was thinking more like Viceroy. What is with that stain on this the the roof there? They can't, uh, they can't have just focused on that for no reason. There's something something up with that, not just your average roof leak. Oh, okay. Well, hell. <laughs> well, that happened. Show me Tamarin. Did you just give me your space address? <laughs> yes, but call first. <laughs> Think you'll ever go back? I don't know if I can. So you're staying. <laughs> At least for tonight. Uh. <laughs> hey, Dick. Hey, what's up? Someone's here to see you. He says he knows your Nightwing. Oh, what? Uh, he's putting it together, man. Who is this? Putting it together. He says his name is Tim. Tim Drake. That was right before he told me Bruce Wayne is Batman. I went to Haley's Circus to see the Flying Graysons. Then one day, I saw Batman and Robin on the news chasing Penguin. Robin did a one-handed meat hook to scale a rain gunner. Mm. <laughs> a trapeze move only two people in the world can do. You and your dad. The Titans made a splash. I heard they were good, so... I mean, Nightwing's mask isn't the most uh, efficient at hiding Nightwing his face. Also, does the one-handed meat hook. You were Robin, then Nightwing. Just do like one of these, and then it's like, yep. I got coffee. <laughs> Look, you're barking up the wrong tree. I appreciate your imagination, but Bruce Wayne is just a philanthropist currently consulting in Europe, and I'm just a former Detroit City cop. I didn't expect that this episode. But to be honest, I don't know when I would have expected it. Oh, is he gonna go? Is he going through withdrawals? Do you remember why we're here? The details are hazy, Crane. You zombified me. Mm-hmm. So this pump station is perched directly above the court. So how much does he not remember? All of the water supply for all of Gotham. So all I need to do is drill through this flimsy piece of steel that is. Crane with the water supply again, man. Tried and true. Now I'm 
done. Hmm. Okay. There's just one last thing I haven't figured out yet. Who the second Robin was. The dead one. I used to think it was Jason Todd, but then I saw him the other night. You saw Jason Todd? The night my father was shot. And you recognized him from across the street? He walked like Robin. I studied him too. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Tim. We'll meet again. Jason! Oh, holy shit. Dick. God, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Vision. Oh shit, she's. What are you doing? Somebody's trying to tell me something. Maybe it's Raven. Read the eighth line. What the fuck? T-E-C. Are you sure about this? Yeah, it worked last time. Isn't this how Gar ended up locked in a trunk with a black eye? <laughs> I'm sorry I have to slam you two together on this. It's just I could use the backup. We work no well problem. together. No <laughs> problem. Do you? Uh, I mean, if we had to. We... <laughs> oh, this is funny. didn't do a good job keeping a hold of her are they both in the trunk okay no okay did you see anything remember anything crown no. general no nothing i'll drive you back yeah it's okay i'm awake now so you two are sleeping together <laughs> I wish I could let you sleep here, but uh, you're gonna tear the place down. Some moron tried to drill through a 10 foot steel plate with a concrete drill. <laughs> what a jag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd need an acetylene torch the size of the sun to cut through that. Wheelbarrow, Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain's extra. What the but fuck? It's worth it. I just want to talk. You're on the clock. What do you want to talk about? I want you to answer to the name Hank. I just want to say I'm sorry, Hank. Don't worry about it. Shit happens. For killing you. I'm not playing this. I'm sure he had it coming. That's the thing. He didn't. Were you high? It's no excuse. I've done a lot of bad things high, too. A lot of things. There's only one place they forgive stuff like that. Home. Time's up, sweetie. <laughs> this is a weird place to get some therapy, but maybe it worked. <laughs> so they released me. What is that Can rot? We again? keep focusing on it. Video sweep of the accident, see where Jason went. Yeah. What the oh, fuck? God. The old road, the old house. You're never gonna find them. Is there a problem? What fucking happened to Dick? <laughs> Did he somehow get juiced? Is somebody sending psychic messages to him and Corey? 
Is it all Raven? <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, what's happening, man? Jason wants to meet you. Not Nightwing. Hello. Where? Townsend Tunnel, 6 o'clock. He said you know them. I guess you want to finish him alone. By like Batman would have done. I'm just a regular guy doing regular things. Okay. My dad was a cop. Homicide, a knife and fork man. Taught me how to investigate and how to shoot. I can help you. I'm gonna find Red Hood and Scarecrow to show you how to stop. It's not a good idea. Tim? Tim? Mm. What do you want, John? I want to lay my head on your lap. Lap time is over. I see it all laid out right before me. Just as I'm about to break through, this is dark creature. This dark creature just slopes through. And it just steals it all away from me. Does this creature have a shape? No, <laughs> this is a big old bat. There is no actual dark creature, Mom! It's a fucking metaphor! <laughs> no no man in a cape there's no boy in a mask that's gonna keep me from valhalla are you unable to grasp such a simple psychological concept i'm sorry i'm sorry Ooh. i know exactly what's going on where did he how where did he go <laughs> i'm in a more for a little space you know you're my prized possession. I cannot let you out without a leash. Did he tag Jason? Me and Crane are finished. I'm done keeping Crane. How do I know that? You saw me standing over you. I could have killed you, Dick. I want to come home. Be with my friends. You killed Hank. That wasn't me. That was the drugs talking, Crane talking too. But I'm clean now. You can come home if you give up Crane. Live in the house? Right in your old bed. Meet me at the old Wellington pump station tonight. Oh, fuck. And Dick. Thank you. Of course, your family. This is bullshit. You're forgiving a murderer. We need Crane. But hold on, what if all the killing was Scarecrow? You didn't hold me accountable when Cadmus took me over, made me a killer. You guys all took me back. No questions asked because we're family. Jason deserves the same chance. Oh, great. Is he going to blow Jason up? blame Jason for it. I bet before he can get anything out. Afraid to take any real risks, John. Fuck you, Mom. Oh, is it the fear toxin? He used Starfire to create the hole he needed. Are you telling me I just dosed all of Gotham? That was a really interesting episode. Um... I like Tim just coming out with all the evidence, all the info, all the facts and everything, and how he's uh, tackling 
dick and all this stuff. Um, <sighs> Starfire still getting visions for some reason. Dick is getting visions for some reason. Don't know if it's own, his own psyche trying to like tell him something or if something actually happened. It seemed to start after the wreck. But I, I doubt Jason drugged him with anything, given what Jason's actually trying to do in this. You know, seeking some kind of penance for his mistakes. Um, and he was like, yeah, you turned me into a zombie. You know, you, you were... You made me a puppet when he had his outing with Scarecrow. Um, Scarecrow's like path in this. John's uh, fucking descent after Jason's betrayal. Like he's like, well, shit, I'm so close and like flying so high to the sun and not quite achieving his goals. Seems like it's breaking him. And now he's really just lashing out in a way. Like even to the point where he's going to see his mother to get her opinion of uh, trying to get her help initially. And then, uh, she of course has no love for him anymore. And understandably so, um, has him called, uh, has her guards or these guards brought in to like take him off, but kills her before he gets away. Somehow gets away. Um, baits the Titans here. I almost thought we were going to get like a second Jason Todd death, like for the betrayal for Jason, try to go, trying to go home to the Titans, uh, because we had the warehouse we had, or well, the factory, we had him putting explosives in there. I was like, is this setting up to be like, <clears throat> cause yes, the Joker beat Jason to death with the crowbar, but that's not initially what killed him after he was beaten to death. Uh, the Joker blew up the place in which he was holding Jason in the comics. So I was like, is, is Scarecrow going to do that to Jason as vengeance? Or is he going to lure everybody in here and try to blow everybody up? Um, for a second, I, 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 they didn't say anything, but I'm wondering if they're blaming Jason or they obviously still think Jason's in league with Scarecrow at this point. Tim will need to wake up and tell them the truth, but I think there's going to be some, sacrifice or something bad's going to happen to Jason in the end of this, like no matter which way this goes. And then Tim's probably going to wake up and he's like, no, nah, he was trying to help me or something. Uh, he's not the one that shot me. It was crane. And I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, man. I don't really know where this is going to go. I don't know where these visions are coming from everybody. Cause maybe uh, Mm, I don't know. I don't know where they're coming from. I mean, again, we're next week. We'll be nine episodes into this, this season with only what? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, five more episodes to go. Um, and we still haven't seen Raven, Themyscira or anything else of the sort. Um, I almost think that what if, uh, Jason, I mean, Hank exploded. I was like, uh, I was going to say, it was like, what if uh, Jason used his knowledge from Crane or whatever to maybe use the Lazarus pit on Hank, but Hank is, uh, his, his body's not in the best of conditions. So I don't know that that would work. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you go back on this, but Gar made a very good point. You know, Cadmus did brain control him, had him kill a bunch of people. And nobody's bad an eye at that. But then again, it is Jason's fault that he got into that situation. So it's not 100% of a comparison, but the things he did while under the influence of the drug, I don't know how much of it I can, I would understand them forgiving or even I could forgive because it is kind of a huge deal. Because it's like all of these frustrations that he did have buried in him, but his inhibitions were completely like wiped away. So he gave in to those impulses and also he was just under the influence and suggestion of Crane because obviously, like he said, the mixture he gave him makes people even makes non-violent people violent. And that's what happened with Jason so, and plus open suggestion, I'm sure as well. Um, but at the end of the day, like Dick said, he does need to be held accountable for in some fashion for his actions because he did betray everybody before any of that took place like before bruce even left gotham and before he went to fight uh the joker by himself he was already selling out 
all these secrets of the team and everything. So it's going to have its price, but I'm wondering what it's going to be. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Which side of the fence are you on? Forgive Jason. Is Jason uh, redeemable or not? Can he, should he be accepted back or not? How, I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? It's like a kind of one of those gray areas where, I don't know. I, I, there's going to be people, that, people I'm sure that feel both sides of the, you know, yard on that one. Um, Connor and Blackfire, their romantic uh, growth in this has been pretty interesting. What was that purple energy gro growing under their bed? before they realize that Starfire is just kind of like hovering over them. Is that something to do with Starfire? Is this something in her that is trying to get out? Some, I don't know. Because Blackfire doesn't have her black fire yet either. And I was like wondering if that might be like alluding to that. Maybe there's like some darkness conjuring within Starfire and they'll have to split it off and then that will take over Blackfire and power Blackfire. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I have no idea where this is going from here, but the crane got his wish. He got the water supply poisoned yet again, though he doesn't have any way to make it vapor. But anybody that's going to be drinking this water is probably going to be having some bad days. So Hopefully Barb doesn't drink from the tap. Um, I'm wondering if they were safe in the end there or if just kind of like being near the water is going to cause an effect because when she looked up, she saw the light. Unless that was just for us, dramatic effect, you know, the red tea in the sky, the lightning and all that. Unless that was all in her head already. So, I don't know. I got a lot of questions and I'm... On board for where it's going right now, guys. What did you guys think of this episode? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. You can also bring it over into our Discord or on the socials. Links to all those are in the description of this video. If you want to see the full-length unedited reaction to this entire episode, it's on Patreon or if you become a member here on the channel, get you access to that as well. Before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Mandy Share, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Kuriskov, and Margaret Grace. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. And I'll see you guys next week with the next episode of Titans. Take care, everybody.